Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Mark Munoz to defeat Matt Hamill. And I'm here to talk about Carl Williams versus Chase Sherman. Carl is taking this fight on short notice, a week or so, stepping in to replace Chris Huggy Bear Curtis, or whatever his new nickname is. And that is all much to the dismay of Chase Sherman, who was actually favored to beat Barnett. And now he's a significant underdog against Williams. He's plus 300 here. And that makes sense because Carl Williams, despite taking this fight on short notice, which, you know, maybe, whatever, he probably wasn't too out of shape. He fought recently, if you don't remember, against Lucas Dresky, which I promised to say correctly, Lucas Dresky. But uh, despite taking this fight on short notice and not being in camp, as we know, as, as far as we know, and despite only being 8-1 and one and the rest of it, he's favored because he has shown a lot of promise, Carl Williams. He's got a great takedown ability. We saw it against Jimmy Lawson on the Contender Series. That was still, that's still his best victory, even though Jimmy Lawson isn't an established fighter. He's a good wrestler from Penn State, and Carl Williams showed to have that, you know, that knack. I'm not saying he's GSP, but I'm saying he's a guy that can definitely out-wrestle good wrestlers. And he showed to have that wrestling again in the UFC debut against Dresky. And despite not being much of a finisher, and I got to be honest, I think he's already established as a fighter where it's not, you know, like he's trending towards being a decision fighter. He's going to be a decision fighter in the UFC. He's 33 years old as well. But still, he's learning things and whatever. Uh, I just think, uh, you know, his skills will get better. They're going to have to fighting uh, up the UFC ladder. But he's already established as a point fighter. I think he had four amateur wins. All of them were by decision. And as a pro, he's got three TKOs, five decisions. One of the TKOs is an injury. And you could just see it from how he fights. This guy is a controlling fighter. And until that fails him, I think that's what we're going to see from him. He doesn't have one submission victory not as a pro or an amateur. And his one loss, in fact, was a submission, a triangle choke to Jason Butcher over in Bellator. And I think, uh, you know, he's still, despite what he's shown in the UFC and on the Contender Series, he's still an unrefined fighter. And he's got some work to do. Chase Sherman, I don't think he's going to expose any holes on the ground. I don't envision triangle chokes from Chase Sherman. But if Chase Sherman is able to thwart the wrestling of Carl Williams or potentially exploit a, uh, you know, uh, some cardio disadvantage he has taking this fight on short notice, again, he may be in shape. I expect he is. But I think Chase, his path to victory or exploitation here would be leg kicks and fighting on the outside and doing that Chase Sherman shit. He can brawl and he's a heavy-handed guy, Chase. Even though he's not the fastest fighter, I expect Carl to have a distinct advantage. But Chase is going to have to probably weather a storm and tame this beast. And I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I'm going to bet on it, no doubt. Round 3 plus 3,300. Yeah, sure, I'll throw a sprinkle on that. But my, um, I'm not betting on this, aside from that. And my pick is Carl Williams wins a decision. I think his wrestling is going to be there for him. I think even if he does have any sort of... Uh, cardio issues in this fight, I still expect his wrestling to be there for, uh, from him because it was even in the Lucas Dresky fight. And you could say, oh, he's slowing down or he's afraid to exert himself or whatever. He still got takedowns deep into the fight. And I, uh, I just think he's always going to have that uh, availability against Chase Sherman. And that's my prediction. Carl wins a decision. My only bet is a sprinkle on Chase Sherman uh, 3,300 round three. And the over-under, um, bet US anyway, is set at one and a half rounds with the over being minus 240. No thanks. All right, that's it. Pretty much like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit, and check out my other videos.